welcome to Linux Help tutorial. I am going to explain about how to add ISO image files in a data store and how to create virtual machines in VMware ESXi server. After logging in into the VMware ESXi server, I will select the storage. In the storage you can see the data store. Now click this data store and select the data store browser. Here you can see the files in the data store. Now we can create a new directory called ISO. Now select create directory. Now open the ISO directory. And now we can upload files in the ISO directory. Now select the upload. Now select your ISO image file. And click open. Now here you can see the status of the image file that is getting uploaded. This will take some time. Now the ISO image file is successfully added. Now click close. Next we can see how to create a virtual machine. Now select the virtual machines. And now create a new virtual machine. Now click next. Now enter your name for the virtual machine. I'm going to install the CentOS. Now select the CentOS family. That is Linux. And the CentOS version. Now click next. And now we need to provide the storage for the virtual machine that you are going to create now select the data store that is available and click next now we need to customize the settings for the virtual machine i'm going to give the one cpu and the 2 gb ram for the virtual machine and the hard disk size is 20 gb and in the cd or dvd drive you can select your iso file that you uploaded that is the Cento 6.8 ISO image. Now select and you need to choose the connected power on to boot the ISO image file. Now after configuring now click next. This is the summary of your virtual machine that you are going to create. Now click finish. Now the new virtual machine is created. Now select the virtual machine and click power on. And now click the console. Now you can see the virtual machine is started and the installation process has begun. In this video we saw how to add image files to the data store and how to create virtual machines in ESXi host. You can see more about the ESXi server in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel to watch more tutorial videos from us.